Hi, today I'm going to show you the AI website creator in the Classic Wix editor. I do like the Classic Wix editor for most clients because it's just easy to use and um, it takes a lot less time to develop. It's uh, It can be responsive and do a lot of the things that the Wix Studio sites can do, but Wix Studio is a little bit more, um, you can just do a lot more with it customizing the responsive behavior of the pages um, but because of that it also is a lot more time consuming and harder to understand and use for most users so I put most of my clients still on the Classic Wix editor um, but the Classic Wix editor uh, does have AI built in we can actually start a chat with AI and do this for this client so this I have a client that is um, called the rescue group and they um, are basically a, a nonprofit to help provide financial support and um, emotional support for people who have uh, lost a child. So we will go um, to this next step. It's, it's a pretty uh, dark and sad topic, but it's a great organization that helps people get through it. Um, so we're going to put in here, this is what we want to call our site. So I'm going to just call it the name of the nonprofit. And then it's going to ask more questions. So I'm going to actually copy and paste um, this content here from their existing site. So we can give them that kind of information to get started. So I just wanted to go through this to show how the AI works and what kind of questions it asks you. So this next one, what types of services do you offer? Uh, we'll say financial assistance or support we'll just say financial support emotional support and they also have um, support groups groups for child loss the next question it is going to ask is what are the essential services do you have any goals such as expanding your reach, um, yeah, increasing uh, reach, basically. They just want more people to find them. This is also, uh, uh, also helpful for giving people options for support, helping people get support. Okay, let's go to the next one. Sorry, it's a little slow today, it seems. Expanding your reach. Is there a particular way? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. We can actually, and you can skip questions. I'm going to skip some of these questions. Um, but the more information you give it, the more it can do in that initial build of the site. So uh, that I do not know. I'm going to skip that too. I know it's been several years, but I'm not sure exactly. So now we're going to go to the dashboard and see what it has done for us. So it basically generates a site for you. And let's see what it has come up with. It may still give me options. So I don't want to connect a domain yet because I don't have, have that, but I'm just going to click on design site. OK, so let it create a site for you or customize a template. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go this route just this time, just to, to kind of let it finish doing its its AI building um, and see where we get with this. We'll wait a minute here. I disagree with this one page. Um, we always have multiple pages, but maybe I didn't answer all the questions. Maybe if I said I wanted more pages, but I don't think I really ever asked that. So, but that's fine. We can start with one page and we can always add more to it over time. So it has some options here. This is an option. So I can actually regenerate it. I don't really like that one. Those colors just weren't kind of what I would want. Um, their existing site is kind of has a moody, um, kind of landscape, ocean, 
uh, look and feel, and I think that may be better for what we need. But again, it doesn't really matter which one I choose. This one, I don't really like it either. Um, let's try another one just to see what other options it gives us. They kind of have a lot of blues in their design, so I'm looking for more blue instead of green and bright. Um, all right, well, let's play around with this one. What, what else can we do? We might be able to specify colors in this section. It's like, make it a little different. Well, yeah, I'm going to regenerate it again just to see if we have a better option. Um, bear with me, but it's nice to have a good color option. And this is where maybe I wouldn't have it generate a site for me after all. Okay, this one looks a little bit better. It's at least has some of those colors I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and continue with this design. Um, we're not going to do that right now because we're not ready to tie it to that domain. Now it's going to bring me into the editor and it usually gives you kind of a little preview at first and shows you what these things are. But if you're knowledgeable in Wix, this is kind of what you're going to see. So you have all these uh, tools over here, such as adding things, changing things. You can also just, of course, double click right onto items to change those. You can add a logo here and all that. So it's interesting. It, it does put in this text. Um, it starts to kind of put all this stuff together. Um, which is nice, I guess. Um, I have mixed feelings about it because one problem I find with this kind of thing is that you do have to read through all this and make sure it's right. <laughs> because if it's saying things that are not true to this organization, we certainly don't want to use that AI generated text if it's incorrect or misleading or has the wrong information or saying that they do the wrong thing. I mean, this stuff overall from initial glance looks okay, but I definitely want to read through it all and change out this copy um, they have an existing site, so I'm going to probably pull a lot of that copy over from that site. But it's interesting that it helped kind of put this together um, as a starting point. But the nice thing about Wix is that you're not locked into anything in this template. So anything I want to change, I can change. I can come over here to site design and change colors. So I can come in here to color theme and choose different colors that match their logo and um, their overall look and feel. I'm not going to do that right now, but um, I have that option there. I can also change pictures. <clears throat> so if I click here, I can change this background and choose a totally different image. And we'll just go real quickly and find one on Unsplash. That's always a nice, there's a lot of great photographers on Unsplash and they're, they're free to use. So let's put in uh, Ocean because they have an ocean on there. So uh, any one of these I could grab. We're just going to grab one and drop it in there. And then, of course, you can change your settings of the picture and everything else. So one thing about this is even though it starts this way, um, you can really change the template. So you don't have to feel that you're set in that template forever. You can always change things to whatever you want it to be. So this is more like the coloring that they have on their current site. So. I may do this, but I'll give them a couple options. I'll probably design a couple sites and play around with it and see what they like best. But this is a great start. It does um, just do, looks like it has a one page. No, it does. No, yeah, these are sections. So these are sections versus um, pages, but I can always add pages. So if it does build you just an initial one page site, you can always add new pages and design them any way you want. It also gives you lots of layout options to start with, or you can use a blank page. Sometimes I'll use these, sometimes I'll use blank page, but whatever I do, it doesn't really matter because, again, even if I pick a pre-designed page, I can change anything on that page. I can delete out things, I can add new items, I can change the template entirely. So. With Wix, you're really not set on any template, so don't worry about necessarily the initial template. Typically I just choose a template as a starting point and I change almost everything about it before I actually present it to the client. But sometimes it's nice just to have a little bit of structure to start with so you can start playing around with how things look when you drop in the real photos and real content for that client. 
Um, so that is my little review of the Wix AI generator for the Wix Classic Editor, not the Studio. Um, and I think overall it works pretty well, but definitely make sure you're checking all that generated content to make sure that it is real and appropriate for your client before publishing a live site. Happy Wixen!